Now also in here you have your opacity and alpha. We click this fill layer. You can see everything is turned off except for an opacity channel, which if you go in here to texture settings, all you have to do to add that manually is click channel, add an opacity channel here, make a fill layer with opacity turned on, and then drag your opacity in there, which is really just your mask from ZBrush, your BPR mask render. Drag it over here, that'll set the opacity, and you're good to go. There's one caveat, however, if you're doing it manually. If you go in here to the shader settings, and you see what this brought in was PBR Metal Rough with Alpha Blending. By default, what you're gonna have is just PBR Metal Rough. So if you wanna use an opacity channel, you have to go in here and choose PBR Rough with Alpha Blending. And if you want to use alpha blending with subsurface scattering, you're going to need to choose this PBR Metal Rough with alpha test. We're going to get to that later, but we're going to keep, keep it simple for now. Now, when we get to the manual portion of this, uh, there's a way that you can bake all these maps manually. In fact, even in Substance Painter, if you bring in your normal map, you can get most of these maps uh, just baked within Substance Painter. However, every single one of these maps was baked in ZBrush. And if you're wondering, like, how did they get these, you know, curvature and normal maps uh, out of ZBrush. Well, if you go back in here to ZBrush, for example, if you take this and you have uh, colorized turned off, so shift and tap all of your paintbrushes here, you take this here and you go in here to um, choose normal map RGB, go in here to your render, go to render properties, turn off uh, shadows or AO or anything like that. If you hit BPR now, you just basically rendered out a normal map. If you go in here to render passes, you're going to see here's our normal map. And in fact, it's always going to render out a mask for you and a depth. So here's your displacement. Here's your mask or your opacity, and here's your normal map. And in fact, if we go in here to render, turn on SSS, and click BPR. Now when we go into our render here, you're going to see we rendered out a subsurface scattering map, which in Substance Painter is being used as a thickness map. Now normally with a thickness map, it's going to look at your geometry and determine where the thinner areas are, where the thicker areas are, and give you a map. However, if you remember, let's go in here to our camera, or display settings and turn on wireframe, we don't actually have geometry. It's just a plane with displacement applied. So it's not going to give us a thickness map because none of this really exists. How you can get around that is exactly how they did here, which is render out a subsurface scattering map, which takes into account this real geometry, gives us a thickness map or subsurface scattering map. And then in Painter, you can use that when we get into subsurface scattering. Let's go ahead and turn off show mesh wireframe here. And if we hop back over here, back into ZBrush, you might be thinking, okay, that explains the normal map. What about the curvature map? Well, if you go to where you drop that folder when we originally installed this plugin, so C, Program Files, Pixelogic, uh, whatever version of ZBrush you're using, Z Startup, Z Plug 64, and we scroll all the way down here to ZBrush Compositor Data, and here you're gonna see a bunch of Z materials. So here's your bump viewer, your cavity, substance cavity, flat color, normal, all of these materials here. So for instance, if we go in here to our material and we're going to override some of these, we're going to say dots O metal, go in here and say load. Go ahead and paste in that directory, choose cavity substance. There you go. And because we want to have this nice and anti-aliased on the edges here, let's go back into render. We'll go ahead and turn off SSS, any shadows, hit BPR, and there's your cavity render. So when you go back here in the substance painter and you hover over your curvature, that's the result. And that curvature gets plugged into, if you go in here to our texture set settings, this is where you've been adding channels. If you scroll down, all of that's already been plugged into your baked mess maps. So here's your normal, your world space normal, your ID, AO, curvature position, and thickness. And why you need these is because this is what Substance Painter is gonna be using to determine how your materials and how your generators are gonna react. So for instance, if you drop a dirt generator on here, the dirt generator is gonna go, okay, let me look at your ambient occlusion. Because in here, wherever it's darker is where dirt's going to accumulate. And also, let me look at your curvature map. Because in here, where it's darker, where the values are darker, that's where dirt's going to accumulate. So it's going to use those values in these maps to determine where dirt's going to go on your object. So let's just start texturing this object. And again, we're just basically going to texture a render. 